Mary Loftus and I am a podiatrist. I work at the Allentown campus and the Bethlehem campus that's on Shanersville Road. The most common condition that I see in the office is plantar fasciitis, which is heel pain. Um, any, at any time, 1% of the population has plantar fasciitis or heel pain. Um, but we kind of do all gamuts of um, foot care. We see a lot of ingrown toenails. Uh, patients who come in with neuromas. I, I think it's important um, that people realize that that yellow barrel thick toenail is not normal and there's something we can do about that. And that foot pain is not a normal condition. Some people feel that, seem to think that foot pain goes along with life and that's not true. For the most part, most foot pain can be eliminated. Um, I, well, I went to podiatry school at the Pennsylvania College of Podiatric Medicine, which is now the Temple University School of Podiatric Medicine, and I did a residency uh, at the Delaware Valley Medical Center, which I now believe is owned by Frankfurt Torresdale Hospitals. Uh, yeah, I think I always wanted to go into medicine. I can still remember being, you know, a young child and wanting to do something in medicine. My mother was a nurse anesthetist, and that kind of, I think, piqued my interest in medicine. Um, I chose podiatry because I was looking for something in medicine that didn't involve a whole lot of um, emergencies. It, it's, it's a practice that's very easily controlled. Because of the variety of practice, you can actually gear your practice to um, uh, minimize uh, the amount of time that you're in the office so it's comfortable for you and your family. I think what sets coordinated health apart is the variety of specialties and the quality of the specialists that we have here. Um, we, we have specialists in almost any phase of musculoskeletal health that you're looking for. And the type of people that are here are excellent practitioners who not only are, are good doctors, um, but they're also good caring people as well. Um, I, I have a real fondness for diabetic and diabetic foot care. Um, I think it's very, very important. Uh, we now know statistically that patients who see Podiatrists on a regular basis have fewer uh, lower extremity complications than diabetics who don't see podiatrists. Um, and probably the most fascinating thing to me is a recent study that was out that showed that since 1997, when the Diabetic uh, uh, Footwear Act uh, became um, official, statistically the number of amputations that diabetics um, uh, have to undergo has dropped um, uh, dramatically and that's actually very rewarding. Um, I've actually lived here for about 30 years at this point. I have three children. My youngest two are twins and they're in college. They just started college this year. So a little bit of an empty nester at the moment which is not particularly um, fun at times. Real interest is I love to travel. Most recently um, I went to the Galapagos Islands and that was really interesting. Um, it was unbelievable to see these animals and they were very close up, they're not afraid of you. And the interesting thing about um, going to, to Ecuador um, is that the people that live there uh, make these wonderful textiles um, of these really brilliant beautiful colors that you, know, you can bring home and use to decorate your house. So. This is, there is no question about it, and possibly even in the Philadelphia area, the most well-rounded um, foot and ankle team. Um, we do everything from diabetic foot care uh, to total ankle implants, and the people that, that work in this um, do it every day. This is a very common thing. This is not an unusual uh, surgery for the people that do, and, and that's important. So I think it, it truly makes this group the most well-rounded group in, in this part of the state.